of three SEC women's basketball games today on SEC Network. We will begin in scoring assists and steals. She is a human highlight reel and is getting a lot of attention from Warren, uh, one of their typical starters, the fifth year player from Springfield, Missouri, out of the game with an injury. It's Georgia who wins the opening tip and immediately goes on the break. Starting lineup today than usual. Shea Ralph shaking things up a little bit. Here's the Georgia Lady Bulldogs starting five. It's Zoisha Smith all and get a fresh shot clock. Here's Coach Abe in her first season back leading the second season at Vanderbilt. They've had a lot of uncontrollables happen to them this year, but if you want to be inspired, you get on a call with either of these leading this team this year. Brought some players over from UCF, including Brittany Smith. For Coach Abe before Asia. It's Gerard, her first shot. Doing a good job on the boards right now. Good look. Washington with the finish. Trying to set themselves up for another play. Short jumper, good. Georgia got bailed out there by that foul, but you see Brittany Smith there and LaChan. Line 75% free throw shooter this year. We've already seen her there. Players come into the SEC from other schools and have an immediate impact, and that's all in numbers, the big in heart. Smith wide open, knocks. Haven't seen Diamond Battle score. They, she hasn't had to. Smith now with 12 points, 12 of and another steal. This is Chapman leading the break, and Chloe Chapman with the easy lay upside for this Georgia team. And you know, you look back on not just the LSU game, but last four in. Now they work their way up to the last four by transition back on the offensive end. So, like you said, Coach Abe has got to be happy that they've been able to do just that thus far in the first. Uh, it's just been that struggle to make shots. Now three of 13 to start the game, and here's an easy one for Georgia. Conference is Coach Abe when Shea was at UConn, and Coach Abe was at UCF, so uh, Coach. Just chipping at the ball, helping in on the post. And uh, Harbison, it's been so fun to win points earlier last week, and then uh, had 26. Don't jinx it, Sam. You know we have the classic <laughs> broadcaster jinx. Ah, oh, come on. There's a make. Georgia looking to attack, and they just is able to go through that bench, give starters a break, and the bench comes off. Made four for four from the three from the free throw line, and all but three players have scored. Sam to four, and that's a two by Diamond Battles just inside. No. Eight fifty-two here in the second quarter. Georgia up 29-14 against Vanderbilt. Harvison misses the three. Good offensive rebound. Conference. It pays dividends. Mallory Bates in the game right now. 22 in black with the ball and easy. And you see the shot there. Go up and win and oh yeah, good defense here because Vanderbilt's a team that does a great job executing program. Yeah, P pretty good place to go to school. Smoint, a guard that once she doesn't have to play so many minutes, you'll really feel the impact. We'll head her next Saturday. They'll be hosting Kobe Brown of Missouri in Thompson, denying Smith and Vanderbilt with a chance to score. Harbison in the lane knocks it down nope. within striking distance. Battles going to work getting adjusted it's something that you almost don't notice just because they play so hard just under a minute to play in the half Zoisha Smith wow. nice move and yeah, battle is just perfectly capable of you know this is such a huge part of her game watch her take it off the dribble and she it's almost like she goes in she wants to draw that second foul for Harbison tough time possibly going to law school when she's finished 26 as we play the final seconds of the half. A chance! I'm a vote of confidence. Yeah, Bella Chance and Van Brittany Smith show as she has such a flawless, perfect game, shooting at 100% with 18. It looks like uh, she's in there in the paint. Great when you talk about communication, you know, between players and the dinner. Uh, nice comeback from the timeout, Brittany Smith. Uh, free throw today either. 
Same. They're fouled on the arm. She'll go to the line. Uh, looks like the foul will be on Lisbon. And get that easy money at the free throw line. Harbison three of four from the line to top. Two shots for Harbison. Right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. Harbison over 84% of SEC women's basketball on the SEC Network. Have another look there. Off the catch right there. Yeah, I think moving her feet, not fouling, not reaching in, not throwing her lower body in the up the floor for Georgia into the paint. Fouled by Harbison. And that'll be the third. And wants to continue her basketball career. I would up be the talking floor. to the refs all the time. <laughs> Georgia. So we've got another bench, Shay Ralph and Katie Lou Samuelson, all of them winning national championships. I remember witnessing that for myself back when they were at UCF and I went on a visit there and it wasn't pretty. Vanderbilt trying to eat. Gerard misses the three. Yeah, on the call. While I remain impartial on the broadcast, I'm upset that Brittany Smith missed that shot. They've won two of their last three wins over Missouri, Mississippi State, and then took LSU to overtime last Thursday. Led most of that game. And there we've got free throws after the foul on Brittany Smith. That was her.